So tell us what you're doing. So basically we are doing um, a Christmas spectacular show of the musical Elf, the Broadway version, um, and we are doing it in arenas. And I've <gasps> never mixed the two things together. I've done concerts for my music and my yeah. singing in arenas, but I've never mixed musical theatre with it. So the CGI, flying wires, I mean, it's no holds but it's just absolutely full on oh my so i can't God. wait i'm nervous but i can't wait to do it the budget will be amazing yes I and mean, what's the audience capacity this is what we're saying like six thousand at least i oh think gosh, yeah that's but that's so a massive brilliant. jump for a, yeah. i mean listen you're martin mccutcheon you're a living legend oh in my i eyes. love you i love but you but you've right. gone from obviously doing musicals in theaters yes. and and shows yeah. there where you know we're talking like hundreds of people it's my favorite mix it's my favorite mix of the two things yeah. um so you know my two favorite heroes ever are stevie nicks and Stryze and you just kind of, yeah. it's musical theatre and big, you know, songs mixed with a bit of rock and roll with the arena concert vibe. Yeah. Um, and then to top it all off, the Christmas fairy, That's which I Christmas am, we were saying, theme, yeah. Christmas, um, it's just going to be heaven. I've got a little three and a half year old record who, who I brought with me. beautiful. Today. I'm yeah. obsessed with him. Oh, he's so lovely. He loves you. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, and so he's going to be absolutely loving seeing Mummy be with the real life elf. Oh, and my you're, goodness. You're who are you Jovi, playing? Yeah. yeah. So I'm playing Jovi. You know, she's a real cynic about love and life and Christmas and then of course Buddy comes along in his kind of weird and wonderful way and kind of rocks our world in the most positive ways and it's just a really lovely journey to play as an actress um, great songs to sing you know big big numbers and you know you've got the actual set to back it all up oh my god I went, Man, please play it cool <laughs> <laughs> please play it cool when you meet David Essex he's still got that twinkle yeah and he's just done everything like he's had number ones in the states you know Broadway musical film theatre he's got my dream career really yeah. so I've kind of just been watching him and learning, you know, from him, just sort of leading by example with press and you never stop learning. No, absolutely not. And you mentioned your little boy. Are they going to go on the road with you? Yeah, they're going to come to the it... nursery. Yeah. So um, we're lucky that at this time in his life, he can still, till next, uh, next September, he can still come with mummy when... Oh, when look, there he, he is. Look at oh, him. his hair. <laughs> his hair. No, I mean, no we know where I he gets do. his hair from, his don't dad, we? And no matter what I do, it looks like a Brillo pad. <laughs> <laughs> it just, I, I brush it, I try and define the curls look and it just them. goes, woo! They're like twins, them two. You should see him downstairs. He's got I his black know. car and just sitting there watching his cartoons. I went, you all right? You all right, Rafi? And he just went, yeah. yeah. He's such a he's cool dude. He's still waking up. He's still waking up, but he's absolutely going to love We're it. We're all still Dave waking Lessig's up. Dave loves him. Oh. Um, he's met him already on Loose Swimming when I did Loose Swimming and yeah. they just fell in love with each other, so it's great. Well, look, Fantastic. Elf, a Christmas spectacular. It starts on the 14th of December at Cardiff Motor Point Arena yeah. and it finishes on the 30th of December at Nottingham Motor Point Arena. You can get tickets now. And yes. it's also going to Birmingham. Now. Oh, it's going all and over. Birmingham, going NEC, Birmingham. yeah. The yeah. NEC. You don't hang about, do you? No, I'm everywhere. <laughs> I can't let you get away because we are we're on the countdown to Christmas. I'm sorry I love for bringing Christmas. it up. It's never too early. We are never. on the countdown to Christmas. Love actually. Yeah. It's not Christmas in my household unless that film is no. on. Oh, I so mean, nice. so every brilliant. single year. I mean, it must. It was such a big part of your life. I yeah. know it was. And yeah. doing the Red Nose Day, the reunion, the reunion was brilliant. Film. It was so so brilliant. And you know, those things are kind of like a once in a lifetime yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, even Emma Thompson at the time said, "Martin, you do know to get a cast like this again, it's probably not going to happen for any of us." Unreal. And I was like, "Well, if Emma Thompson says that, <laughs> I'm doomed." Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was it was the best thing to be a part of. Um, it was so good for my career as well because yeah. it's there every Christmas, and it's just a little reminder. Do you know, you know? I was actually. In love, actually, with you. I was an extra what? in the school. What? Yeah. In the school? Catch a falling star. It was when he pocket. had red hair. Little ginger boy. <laughs> oh no. I know. Can I, can I, I feel just say, so old right now. You were so lovely <laughs> as well when I met you oh. back then, so I can confirm how lovely she is on screen and Thank off screen you. as well. Thank you. Um, I'm all right. <laughs> but no, you really were. But uh, like I said, love actually, we all loved. And the Red Nose Day thing, we haven't got long, but surely. Surely, after their uproar last man, year with that. Like, come on, come on. Is, come we've on. got to have a second film, a proper film. Do you know what? Of course, as a drubbing actress, I would love to do it. I'd love yeah. to be with that amazing cast again. But I think he kind of did it with the comic relief and the film together. That was Richard Curtis's dream come true, I think. No. I can't speak for him, but I think. Oh, Richard, you've got to do it. <laughs> Come on, Richard. Can we start a like, petition? No, Richard, no. <laughs> Listen, I want to be in it now. I'm a oh, grown-up. No. I, <laughs> I know we should all be in it. <laughs> um, I do want to quickly touch on as well. I mean, you, I know you've had your health struggles in the past mm, as well. Yeah. Was, it, was it ME that um, you... I had ME and then Lyme disease. And Lyme disease. And, um, and it basically kind of can really affect your immune system. But um, I'm really lucky that I've got it under control. Mm. And um, it's just like anything else, like Crohn's or diabetes that my mum's got. You manage mm, it. Same as mine. You yeah. manage it. Yeah, well. and um, But is it 
a difficult thing, isn't it? Because there's a people, not a lot of people understand about it. So no. they just they kind of denigrate or put it down and just dismiss it's, it's it. It's not one of the illnesses or diseases that you have that you get a lot of sympathy for. Yeah. But in a way, it kind of makes you just go, right, you've got to dig deep and brush yourself down and carry on. And that's what I've tried to do. And I think it's really important that whilst I want to raise awareness about it, because it is really misunderstood mm. and mm. there are a lot of people that feel really isolated and lonely with it, that I also don't feel like people are defined by their illness. Absolutely. Um, and I think when you're known, you have to be really careful because sometimes in the press all I read about is, oh, she's been ill or she's done this. I think it's really important to kind of like go, no, it doesn't define me, it's part of me. I manage it and I still live a great life, the best life I've ever lived in a long time. So Absolutely. Yeah. And it is all to do with family. It is. That's At exactly the end of the day, it's love. Yeah. Love, it actually. Is love. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I've got, I've got 30 She's seconds, got but I've got to ask you. Tell me you're doing some new music as well. I am. Yes. I'm working on the new album. I'm to sing, because you've been singing that song all morning. I've been singing Perfect Moment on the radio all morning.